Welcome back, everybody. Wow, it's been a while. Today, we're going to be actually talking deadbolts, specifically keyless entry systems under $100. We're going to go across the Quick Set 909, the Slag Touch, as well as the uh, Truebolt Classy. We're going to be comparing their features compared to their build quality and determining what may be right for you. All right, let's do this thing. So tell me this, how many of you are still using the keys? You know, if you happen to have a keyless entry system, why don't you tell us what you have down below what you like best about it and what you dislike about it. If you're contemplating a new keyless entry system for your home and you've been looking and investigating, tell me some of the features you want in your system. Now, this came about because I turned around and had to borrow my key out because I couldn't find my spare key. So I took it off my key ring, you see, went and hung it on a pole. The, uh, uh, the service guy comes, grabs the key, comes in the house, does what he needs to do, turns around, leaves the house. Guess what he did? He took my key with him. Had no choice to break into my own home. Next day, we go up to the hardware store, in my case, Menards. Some of you might have a Home Depot, whatever. And I started looking at deadbolts replace my new LaHan set and deadbolt and uh, lo and behold I saw the keyless systems I had no clue what to get I knew I wanted you know what this would be slick because I wouldn't have to give out a key anymore I now can put a program and program a number in there for the service guy when he comes he can punch his code in come in do what he needs to do leave my house punch a code in and leave. When I get home, I'm gonna turn around, punch the master code in here, turn around, hit delete. He no longer has access to my home. That sure beats the hell out of chasing around and trying to find the extra key that I don't know what I did with. Or I end up giving it out and this happens. I get locked out of my own house. I asked about these keyless entry systems to find out some basics. Now I've been in the building industry for a long time. You would think I would know about these damn things. And I don't. But not one of them could tell me the difference between a $100 keyless entry system versus a $600 one. So long story short, I bought three different keyless entry systems under $100 to compare them to decide which one I wanted for my home in hopes that maybe, just maybe, you're gonna find one of these helpful for you. If by chance you do, there's going to be links down below. If you choose to use them, thank you. Actually, we thank you because it helps support this channel. Now, with that said, the three keyless lock systems under $100, like I mentioned before, the Tri-Bolt, TrueBolt, not Tri-Bolt, TrueBolt is $69.99. We have the Quick Set over here at $78.99. Now, I've done this about six times. You'd think I would know these. The Slag, I do know, $98. <laughs> really, the only differences between these outside of the keypads are a little bit different. The Quick Set and the TrueBolt have keys. The Slag does not. As you can see, no key at all. I like it because you can't pick it. That's one way you can't get into my house. And today we hear a lot about people picking locks. Not the case, you're not picking them. It's so nice to know I don't have to go to the house or the truck to grab my keys to get into my shed. Oh crap, I'm working in the garden. I don't have to grab my keys to get into the garage because I left the hoe there. So many wonderful benefits to having keyless entry. Trueboat Classy. 
Comes in antique brass, bronze, nickel, polished brass. Antique brass and polished brass. Whatever. <laughs> 50 different programmable codes. 50. If the thing doesn't tell you who's got what code and you've got 50 of them in there, how the heck are we to know who's got what code? You're going to need a whole notepad for that. I find that a little bit overkill. Just saying. My two cents. All right. Quick set. By the way, the true boat is a grade three. Okay. We're going to talk about that a little bit more here in just a second. We'll get into the grades here in a minute. <sighs> Quick set. Satin, bronze, and chrome. I think there's a uh, uh, brass available as well. Automatically door locks after 30 seconds. That is cool. Because that means no more is my wife going to be asking me, did you lock the door? It automatically locks 30 seconds right there. Up to eight codes. Let's see, I need one code for me and my wife. I need one code for my children. I need one code for my neighbors. So that way, if I'm on vacation, they can enter my house and check on it and feed the bird. And then I got the fourth code, which goes to my daughter's boyfriend. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. How many of you want to delete that code? <laughs> Me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, slag touch. Let's move on. <laughs> Age bronze, satin chrome, antique brass. Comes with 19 code entries. It also automatically locks. And that is a grade one. How many of you guys looked at locks when you've gone to purchase one or a door set of handles or whatever, new door knob and lock set? Because... Whatever the case may be, you just purchased a place. You walk into the hardware store, right on the end cap, it says on sale. And here's all these doorknobs and lock sets. And 90% of that time, that's as far as we go. Woo! Didn't look to see if it was even graded. Hmm. Next time, do yourself a favor. Stop and turn that package over and look for a grade level. If you don't see one, it's called grade zero. You don't want it. All right. So grade one being the best, grade three, not so good. What's the big deal about that? Well, that's what we're going to talk about right now, because this is something that I just learned about. Okay. I'm in my mid fifties and built homes, remodeled homes. This camera just went down. Most locks should be, well, technically all locks should be tested, but they're not. Cheap locks are not tested because it costs money to have this test. American National Standard Institute, ANSI, does all the testing for the majority of the locks that are tested on the market. So the things we want to look at is we want to look at the operation, we want to look at the strengths, and we want to look at longevity as well as security. These are all things that we, the consumers, should be thinking about. When it comes time for operation, what we're looking at is how much pressure does it take to turn that doorknob? Technically 4.5 foot pounds, I believe, yes. Or 28 inch pounds. So in other words, our little tykes can turn the doorknob and come in the house. That's what they mean by operation. Okay, it should work smoothly. It should work easily. Anybody should be able to open up that door. I don't care what goes on. Then we get into talking strengths. This is where we start talking about the build quality of the lock. Okay, that's going to be the latches, the dead bolts, all the mechanisms, the punch pad, the keylet, the, the cylinder, the lock cylinder. All these go under test. Personally, I think they should give them to a contractor. Let us test them. There, we're back up and running. Longevity. Believe it or not, a grade two and a grade three, that is your, in this case, not all of them, 
But in this case, it happens to be the grade three was the true bolt, and the grade two happened to have been the quick set, 909. They are tested 800,000 revolutions. In other words, they sit and punch the code 800,000 times. They turn the handle, they crank it, they work the hell out of that lock 800,000 times to make sure it functions and lasts for you. On the grade one locks, they do one million times. Well, I can assure you, I don't care who you are. I am never, ever going to enter that door lock 800,000 times in the life of that lock. It will be replaced before that. So it's about longevity. It wants to make sure that that part lasts for the life of the lock. Now, security. Security is the most important thing all of us should be looking at. Our home is our safe zone. Our home is supposed to be secure, correct? A grade one deadbolt, check this out. 75 foot pound, 10 below. What about a grade two or a grade three? Grade two, five below, 75 foot pounds. I don't care. I guarantee you if I turn around and I kick with my foot, I got more than 75 foot pounds. Five blows. You don't have a chance to call 911 before I'm in your house. I kick it five times, the sixth time the door opens up, I'm in. That's a grade two door. Grade three, two kicks is all it takes. Folks, I don't give a if it's two kicks or five kicks. Neither one of them are enough. All right, now from here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and move on in to the testing phase and comparing the parts, okay? So we're gonna start looking at the build quality. We're gonna look at the uh, uh, deadbolt assembly, the locking mechanism and see how those actually operate as well. So let's have some fun. All right, on the left, we have the True Bolt Classic. That is known as a grade level three. In the middle, we have the Quick Set Smart Code 909. That is a grade level two. Of course, on the right, we have the slag, known as a slag touch. That is a grade level one. Now that you just heard the sounds of these things, <laughs> obviously one being the best. So good, better, best. You don't hear anything other than turning the knob to unlock it. So I love that feature. The grade two, which was, you will admit was the loudest of all of them, you will know somebody's coming in the house. And of course, the grade three, I don't know what happened there, but that sounds more like grinding than anything. When we start looking at quality of these locks, let's start with the locking mechanism because this is one of the features right here that always fails on these things when they go bad. And really, when we look at this on a grade three lock, when we start looking at the locking mechanisms on these, you'll notice this happens to be just a real small, fine, wire type spring that penetrates through on the edge and returns up. When I run it, you can feel a grinding. And again, I'm gonna lead that more towards the grade three. When we move over to the grade two, definitely sounds different. Now we look at this one, we're going to notice that that is actually a stamped out piece of metal and it's a solid piston that goes into the locking mechanism. Overall quality, tenfold over that. Then we look at the grade one, the slag. Both the slag and the quick set are very good locks. Now, do I have a preference? Absolutely, slag. When we go into the next series of door locks, which is our middle tier, the uh, Yale is gonna be coming into play. It's just they don't make a cheap lock. <laughs> when we look right. at this one, one we'll notice in the inside of this, I don't see a piston here, but when I look down the shaft, we very much do have a piston moving on the inside of this thing. Come on, in the camera, there we go. There's a piston down there. 
and it's almost a cam gear mechanism right here with a spring tensioner on the top. Let me tell you, this one turns hard. Now I also know between the grade ones and the grade threes, I can drill that lock out with a standard drill bit. You're not gonna do that with a slag, much harder steel. Other ways we can tell the difference on the quality and where they fail is when we look at the backside of the locking keyless entry mechanism. One we'll notice here, this is more a stamped out steel, not very thick. The locking mechanism is very questionable in my opinion when I turn around and I look at something like that, okay? Not much to it, not much material, not much cost. When we look at the slag system, this is all stamped out cast. That's all of an eighth inch thick, all the way up to three sixteenths of an inch thick. Way harder, way stiffer, way stronger than a grade three. The locking mechanism. Both these locks, when I go over to the quick set, when we look at the covers, this is casting, this is just steel. Both are very heavy. I'll tell you that right now. This just happens to have a stamped out type of uh, metal housing around the actual lock King mechanism right here. They do, quick set does it in a two piece versus slag in a one piece. Installation, this one's a little bit easier. But even with the locking, me locking mechanism on the quick set compared to the tri-bolt night and day difference. You got some mass there. This thing, I can almost tell you I can break into this fairly easily. Not so much with the quick set or the slag. Huge difference, way more material. Keyless entry parts. This one takes a nine bolt battery. This snaps in here. This plugs into that. You feed the wire through right here as you heard on the video. Let me stick it back in there, snap it back down. This particular one in the quick set, right in here is where the wire, this wire plugs into and takes four AAA batteries right there. Not a bad system. This, very much like the quick set, takes four AA batteries as well. And the back, again, much, much cheaper built. Little motor right here, you can see. This one, you cannot see it. Uh, honestly, I'm not too keen on this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. But there is where the wire doohickey right there plugs into when you feed it through the mounting bracket and that is metal okay there are the three lock systems under one hundred dollars well i guess we know who the winner is as much as i don't want to be biased out of the three i am quick set sounded way better but still loud. I'm going to know, hey, that may be the one you want for the house. You know when the kids came in after 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> Why do I pick on my kids? All right. Um, then obviously we had the slag, which you didn't hear anything outside of turning the knob. Based off of those, I love the slag, person. And that's the one I'm going to keep on. This has been a very challenging, but yet very educational and very fun video to do for myself. If you guys got value out of this thing, please smack that like button, smack the subscribe button and kick the hell out of the notifications because the next video is going to be on keyless entry as well. That's going to be our mid tier. We're now going to get into the Bluetooth. We're going to get into the Wi-Fi and also the other reason you want to hit that subscribe button and notification button. Something special is coming on that video, and I ain't going to tell you what it is. Mm -mm. Nope. But I got authorization. I can give it away. I'm going to leave it at that. Got to be there. 
or go across it at that point. Now, I'm gonna cover one more thing before we leave. And it's again on security. I think you guys have probably had enough about security, but that's what deadbolt's about. This is, it has nothing to do with a deadbolt. But the fact is, I don't care if you live in a bad neighborhood or you live in a neighborhood that was at one point phenomenal, maybe by chance, one of your kids are going to college and you really don't like with this house that her and her friends went and rented. We can add a security feature to that that literally will take it from a 75 foot pound bust in pressure to that door and bring it up to 800. At least you sleep better and maybe your daughters or sons will sleep better. We now have them on our doors. My wife sleeps real well. Okay, and that is going to be a door reinforcement kit. Nothing really difficult here. I'll zoom in on it. It's no different than going to a hotel. I never hit the, I never locked them, but my wife surely did. And all it is, is a door reinforcement. It holds four screws and it goes, uh, takes it from 400 or 75 foot pounds of kick in pressure up to 800. Four lousy screws, 25 lousy dollars, and it quadruples the kick in pressure. They will have to drive through it, the door, in order to get into your house. Now, there will be a link down below. Like I said before, I gotta say it again. You choose to use it, we thank you. It doesn't cost you one penny. We get a very small commission on it, which helps pay for the equipment. It helps pay to, to do this. And with that said, God bless you all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. We'll see you very soon. Bye now.